We're now going to check out the add point tool. We are inside of Moho in a new document and we have a vector layer selected. So that way we can start drawing on frame zero. And the add point tool is sort of the in-between between the draw shape and the freehand tools. You can go in and add points as you see fit and then mold those points using a variety of tools. And you can also mold points with the draw shape and freehand tools. However, when using the add point tool, you have the advantage of creating the shape that you want right away and then refining from there as you go. So with the add point tool selected, I'm going to come up here and make sure I have auto weld enabled. Auto weld allows us to connect two points together to create a shape, which can be very useful in this case. And the add point tool works just like this. You can click and drag, as you can see here, to create a guideline. And we'll just start with this one guideline and release. And you'll see that we have two points making up this guide. Now, near one of these points, it doesn't really matter which one, we're going to click and drag and start to add more to this shape. And you can see as I'm going through and doing this, we're actually altering the curvature of the original line work. But as I come in here, I'm just going to start drawing things out like this. And as you can see, we're able to just continue to morph this the way we want. Another thing you can do as you're working on this is maybe you decide you want to go back and add some points in between these two. You can do that just by coming over here and you'll notice that we have a red dot now indicating we can add a point and we can click and click and click and click as many times as we want to add as many points as we want. And the more points we have, the more control we have, although it can become a little bit cumbersome if you have too many points. So just something to keep in mind. But anyway, coming back here, we can continue to click and drag and move along. Now, if you were to, let's say, go outside of this line and start right here and click and drag, you're now going to create a new line that's disconnected from this one. But with the add point tool, we can also come in and snap that in if you want to as well. So there are a variety of things you can do with this as you work. And once you have the shape that you want, you can come up here to the original point to complete the shape just like this. And again, that's because we have auto weld turned on. Now, when you finish a shape, it's not going to fill in. You're going to have to use a fill tool to fill this in and use the style panel on the right. So we'll come in and pick a fill tool. I'll just use the create shape tool. Clicking once on that, I can use control and then A to select the entire shape. And then coming over here to my style panel, I'm just going to come in here and change the fill color to red. And then at the top, we can create shape. And I'll be going over the create shape tool a little bit more here in another video. We just wanted it right now so that way we could fill this in and see what we're doing. Now, once you have a shape, you can use the transform points tool, just like any shape, whether it's freehand or a drawn shape or a shape created with the add point tool, you can click and drag on any of these points to make your alterations. Another tool that's very useful for defining curves is the curvature tool. So if we click on this, you're now going to see we have Bezier handles for each point making up this shape. And we can come in here and click and drag on these Bezier handles to alter the bends further. Now, if you just want to alter one handle at a time, you can hold an alt. And now you're able to go in and make these nice curves very easily just by using one Bezier handle at a time. You can also choose when using the add point tool if you want to show Bezier handles while you're drawing. By default, when we come in here and start to draw, you can see there's no Bezier handles being displayed. But if we show Bezier handles, we can come in here and draw those out. And you'll see now how they're being created as we place these points down. Finally, you can choose if you want to do sharp corners. So this will just lock the Beziers so that way they're always sharp. You can come in and do that. And you can choose to lock the Bezier handles as well. If you don't want those slight alterations to be made while you're drawing, you can come in and fix those Bezier handles so that way no movements are made while you are going through and creating those lines. You can then choose if you want to alter it after the fact. So that's a little bit about the add point and curvature tools inside of Moho.
It acts as a nice in-between between freehand and drawing shapes, and it's sort of like working with clay.